What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Let's take a look at Logic's 10.1 Drummer Sounds more in depth. So I'm going to go create a new drummer track. And I'm just going to take you through the different players just to get an idea of what is played. So let's start off with electronic. We'll start with Magnus. So of course, like previous uh, versions of Drummer, you can actually kind of add more elements to the sound. You can add a little bit more fills. You can add some more swing to make it more of a human feel. And of course, you can use this little XY kind of pad right here to go to a simpler beat, to a more complex beat, and how loud and quiet you want it. So as you can see, you can go through a lot of different drums and kind of get them very quickly into your track. So if drumming, drum programming is not your thing, this is definitely for you if you're producing anything from electronic music to EDM, to hip hop, to dubstep. And you could change and cycle through the various different presets right here. And you could use phrase variation right here to kind of vary up the phrases. And then you got kind of the complexity ranges for each elements in your kit. That's Magnus, so he is your go-to guy for electro house beats. Then we got Leah over here. She's kind of your tech house, the more tighter drum sounds. Then we got Jester. Let's see what he does. So Jester is your boombastic dubstep guy. So right now we're in half time. I'm going to make it to regular time, so full time. Another cool thing here is you could have it follow an instrument to kind of get the groove with your main kick, clap, and snare. And with any drummer kit, you can actually go ahead and cycle through the different drum machine kits. So if you want this guy to play the Radiant kit, or if you want him to be a trap drummer, You could do that as well. So let's go ahead and go to Ronnie. So he's kind of electro fused with trap music. There's your trap kind of uh, synth sound there, or pluck or just sound effects. And of course that's in half time if you want to make it the full time. But of course, you'd have to lower the BPM to make it slower. That's why auto halftime is on. And of course, like I said, you could go, let's change it to the Atlanta kit. So you got these electronic drummers for you right at your fingertips to kind of mix into your songs. Let's put in uh, Julian here. So he's our classic house kind of drum beat. Four to the floor as they call it. There you go. There's your classic house beat. Oh, 
why I'm stuck with cymbals in there. I know some more fills. That's pretty cool. That's it for the electronic drummers. Let's go to hip hop. So if you guys are produ hip hop producers out there, you guys got Dez, who is, let's see what he does. He is your, uh, kind of your huge sounding trap beats. And again, trap is usually in half time because the claps happen on the 30, but uh, we can take that off. And then slow down the tempo to a more trap feel. You can change the complexity range, like I said earlier. More hats in there. Let's take out this symbol. I don't like it. So if you just want to create those type of fills that you have at the end here, and you never really know how to make them, you can simply just pull up the fills all the way up. You'll, you get this really cool fill at the end. And you just copy and paste that into your track or cut and paste. Or if you just want to have a snare in your fill, just take all that out. And you kind of get a cool little... Uh, cool little fill that you could put into your track. So that's Dez, he's your trap guy. Here's Atlanta, sorry, Anton. <laughs> I think he's your Atlanta Beats. Uh, yeah, so he's your mainstream commercial hip hop beats. So once again, hip hop is in half time, but. And of course, like I said earlier, you can always change to each kit. If you like the way the guy drums, change the beat. And you got a different uh, sound right there. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go to our final drummer, Maurice. And he's your boom bap, that old school kind of drums, MPC kit style drummer do it more complex because I feel like it'd be a lot cooler and it is add some swing putting some more fills in there so you get this really cool kind of MPC, kind of early 90s hip hop beat right there, boom bap style. So that is those different drummers that you get with Logic Pro 10.1. Definitely for you guys, if you don't really like to program drums yourself, you got wicked awesome hip hop producers, electronic EDM producers as well, that kind of <laughs> creates drums for you. If you have any questions on this, ask me in the comment section below. Remember to click the video in the top Sorry, click the link in the top left-hand corner to the playlist that will show you everything new in Logic Pro 10.1 as we'll take a deep look into each new feature. For more videos, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.